Here we're going to show you the KTNC KPC Dash DS100 camera, uh, what comes in the box and some of the features of it. So, I'll open the box like so. Inside, you'll get the manual, you'll get the uh, video cable for your spot monitor. There's the dome, outside dome. Okay, first thing you wanna do before you mount it is you wanna remove this cover here. This little plastic cover, covers the lens. So as you can see here in the camera, um, you have your little plug here, and that's for you to plug the uh, spot monitor video cable in. So that way, once you mount it, you know you won't have once you mount, it, you won't be able to get to these cables probably. So this makes it nice and easy. You just plug it in like so. And then that way you have a video output so you can plug that into your monitor and adjust the camera. Also, you have the uh, OSD controls here. So this will give you the menu options for this camera. Um, one thing nice about this camera is when you move it, it clicks into place. So that way, you know, you know it doesn't move around really like you know it's not a screw it's actually a click then your adjustments for like the uh, varifocal lens on it would be right kind of hard to see in there take out that part off your adjustments are right in here to adjust the varifocal lens On. There we go. So once uh, that's back on and you adjust the lens, then you can go ahead and put the top on. The top just clicks into place like so. So it makes it really easy to open it up and close it because it has like a little groove there and just will click into the spot. This is a dual voltage camera, so it has this type of power plug on here so you can put either uh, 12 volts or 24 volts on it. Um, it has a, obviously a BNC connector to connect your coax cable. Um, it comes with the uh, template to know where to put the screws um, so when you mount it and then it uh, comes with three screws so you can screw into the ceiling or the wall however you're going to mount it. Some of the other features about this camera is it goes down to really low lux so you don't need like IRs on it as long as there's some ambient light you'll be able to see uh, your images with really low minimal light. So that's why there's no infrared on it. And it's, uh, so it's obviously it's a day night camera. So this is uh, what you get when you buy the uh, KTNC DS100.